Here you can see a lithium ion battery. The production board is removed from it and two wires are soldered on the positive and negative terminals. Let's check the voltage. The voltage is around 3.7 volts. Here you can see two lithium polymer batteries. Each has a nominal voltage of 3.7 volts and a maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. Both are connected in series. That means the positive terminal of the one battery is connected to the negative terminal of the other. So the output voltage will be added. Now I am going to connect the output of the battery to the input of the buck converter. You can see the buck converter has four terminals. Two are input terminals and other two are output terminals. It also has two potentiometer. One is to regulate the voltage and other one is to regulate the current. These two are input terminals and these two are output terminals. You can see the input voltage is around 8 volts and the output voltage is around 5 volts. Now I am connecting the 5 volts output from the buck converter to the battery by placing a shunt in series to it to measure the output current. You can see the output current is about 1 ampere. Now I am increasing the output voltage. You can see the output current is also increasing. The output current is around 3 ampere. Now it's 4 ampere. Let's check the output voltage of the buck converter. You can observe the readings in the meter. You can see the output voltage is around 7 volts and the input voltage is around 7.3 volts. Now I am going to remove the buck converter from the circuit and I will connect it directly because the input and output voltages are approximately equal. Now I am connecting the positive terminal of the source to the positive terminal of the load battery and a negative terminal to the shunt. Let's check the voltage. You can see the voltage is around 7 volts. Let's disconnect the supply and check the voltage again. You can see the voltage is about 4.15 volts. Let's check the source voltage. You can see the source voltage is about 7.7 .7 volts. After some time. Let's check the voltage again. You can see that the voltage is raised from 4.15 to 4.3 volts. And you can observe the battery is also a little bit swollen. You can see it clearly. The current is also dropped from 4 ampere to 3 ampere. It's just fluctuating. after some time. Now you can see it clearly, the battery got swollen very much. You can see it very clearly. And the current is also reduced to 90 milliampere. The battery is completely dead, it can't store energy anymore. Let's check the voltage again. You can see the voltage is dropped from 4.3 volts to 4 volts. Now I short circuited its terminals through a shunt. Let's check the voltage again. You can see the voltage is dropped from 4 volts to 3 volts. Again I am going to recharge it. You can see a very small amount of current is flowing. So now I am going to connect them in series and short circuit them. Even in that way a very little current is flowing. You can see 
even its wells largely but it didn't explode because of its safety measures but i want to explore it so i am going to throw some stones on it Hope you liked the video. Hit the like button. Stay home, stay creative. Be subscribed for more videos. Have a great day.